guess I must go through the house. Okay. Shadow demons are still here. Back at shadow. Uh, it's more than there is usually. I think I was led to this place. Word. Don't doubt it, Edward. Could it find any shit? Rude. Hello. You, sir, can you hear me? In here? I can't actually close it. Had my life. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I haven't died by the shadows yet. Sir, can you hear me? Is this door chained. There's no way I can open this with my bare hands. No surprise. No one is here. Hey, Miss, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Harris, I'm brain this thing. Mark, Mark's, uh, attention record. Attendance, sorry, attendance record. Mark has been absent for five classes out of the possible, uh, 16 in the last four weeks. This uh, represents an absence of 31%. I'm enclosing a copy of the attendance record, uh, for your information. Your child's academic, uh, attainment suffers if he continues to miss school frequently, so I am asking you to ensure that Mark's Mark attends regularly in the future. I understand that he went through a tough time during last year, but if he continues to miss classes, he won't be able to improve his grades. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you would like to discuss this matter further. Yours sincerely, Cindy C. A teacher. Andrea wanted Rosie to learn how to play the piano. She would have been a great pianist. She would insinuate she has died. I regret this. <laughs> Sorry. Um
Why did I ever so bravely do that? That turn that on? Milk, waffles, jam, fruits, ketchup. Mark, come home after school. We don't want you outside after dark. I'll call at 7 pm to check if you're home. Hi! Hi, inverted. How are you? Spook. I definitely need to meet up with you dressed as Ghostface. I would love to do, do like a photo shoot with you. I'm sure you've seen my photos with Roman. Social media break. But I don't have much, so. on Keep it. Where did it go? Let's keep it up, just in case it does something. Is this door chained. There's no way I can open this with my bare hands. I hate it. <laughs> Why does it always have to be a basement now? Oh, that's. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> the heavens have opened. Is 
over. Move all the shit. I didn't know I could turn on lights. Stop getting like stuck on every item possible, it would be great. <laughs> memory of Kenneth, your life was a blessing, your memory is a treasure, your loved beyond words and missing missed beyond measure. Damn. So, how did the kid die? How does everyone keep that? Marcus uh, is having a tough time coping with Kenny's death. Hell, we, are, we all are. A father should never have to bury a son, but what else can we do? He doesn't listen. He doesn't want to talk to us. Dr. Vobach, Vobach says that he's becoming violent and aggressive. Does he? Tries, she tries to hide the pain with pills. Spends day and night in bed. Maybe I should see a psychiatrist too. Should. History class was so boring, or was boring as usual. Why do we even need to learn that old crap? Uh, so, the weird kid today, I think she lives with her mom outside of Dormant. Me, Dez, and Hayden spotted a new freak while playing football. Her name is Anna Annika. What kind of name is that really? Anyway, the most amazing thing happened. Dez dipped uh, the ball in, in a puddle of mud and threw it at the girl. Yeah, right in the face. I couldn't believe it. What the heck? Why? Why would you do this to someone? The widow ran away, crying with mud all over her face. Smiley face. Des has a great throw. I hope he gets the... Uh, gets the football scholarship. Des is grounded for a week. Apparently, he forgot to close the drawer in the kitchen. Hayden is trying to... Is, trying, is helping out Dad uh, in the store. That leaves me with no one to hang out with. 
I was so bored that I decided to follow the geek, Annika. She rides her bike through the woods. I guess she lives outside of town. I miss Kenny. The gang was uh, finally back together again. Aiden found a dead rat and brought it to school. <laughs> while, distracted, while I distracted Annika, Des and Hayden got her backpack and stuffed a dead rat into Oh my god. When she opened her backpack, she screamed like a child and started crying. I laughed so hard I almost fell off my chair. I had a 20 page report to deliver tomorrow, don't know where to start, ugh. Uh, we're sent to detention today, we're playing that stupid prank on the weirdo, me and Hayden will be alright, but Des, he'll be in huge trouble with his crazy father. Anyway, no video games for the next 10 days, great. Des was acting strange today, I don't know what his father did to him this time, but the punishment must have been bad. He was wearing long sleeves on a hot day, hiding bruises again. It's all Annika's fault. Hayden got into a fight today uh, with Bobby. Uh, poor Hayden didn't put up much of a fight. At lunch, I threw a b uh, bowl of rice over Annika's head. Everyone laughed at her. We're definitely the coolest kids in school. I really miss Kenny. Annika always rides that stupid bike of hers. I think he's asking for a serious prank. Is this the same Annika? Mark was bullying her. How am I seeing this somewhere? What are you asking here? Yeah. You decide. decide what? You're not making sense. His friends did bully her. Here it is. Oh. It's locked out. Doubt I'll ever know the password. I'm scared. Him? Oh, 
gladly. Thank you. Dear. What? change. Mr. and Mrs. Harris, after a few sessions with Mark, I have to make a permanent report about his psycho uh, psychological status. He advised that he is very primary. Uh, I recommend more sessions that uh, be better concern what to do. I only took one conversation to that Mark has a very strong connection with his brother Kenny. His death left Mark deeply troubled and behaviorally traumatized. Uh, when he talks about the time they spent together, he only describes the moments of joy and happiness. And more, more than a friend and a play partner, Kenny was also Mark's role model. Since Kenny's death, Mark is unable to dis uh, describe a moment of joy. Feels alone and lacking guidance, a vacuum created by his brother's loss. Mark seems to have made new friends make up for this. From a little time we talked about him, the most he spent time doing sports and playing pranks on the other kids. I suspect some of the pranks might be a little bit too violent, although I didn't want to talk too much about the subject. I believe that this way Mark found it found the way to cope with Kenny's loss. He's projecting the anger on the other kids by making them suffer too. Mark is deeply troubled and in need of counselling and guidance. My recommendation is that we schedule two weekly appointments from now on. Mark didn't take his brother's death well. I could care less. You just don't bully someone. Seems that Marky here was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. But the fact remains that Annika is dead because of it. So now you decide. Should Mark Harris be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? Shit. I don't have a choice. Annika died because of him. He deserves no pardon whatsoever. See ya, kid. I know it might seem cruel, cool, but and people could be like, oh well he's just a kid and he doesn't know any better. Um bullying is bullying.
and bullied someone. Oh crap! supposed to do that. Police station. Huh. Maybe I can find help here. I'm gonna end it here. We've been playing for two hours, and I think this game is really cool. Uh, but uh, I'm scared. <laughs> um, I love this game. It's uh, so far, it's really immersive and it's very darkening in a way, and it's. I don't know, I never thought it was going to be one of these kind of games where I get to make a choice as well. That's actually a really cool touch to it. I hate the dark shadow people. <laughs> because, um... Does it auto-save? I think it is. Um... But... Yeah, this is such a cool game, such a cool concept, and we will definitely be playing more of it, and I've definitely enjoyed it, apart from the fact that I'm literally blind, and if there is a puzzle to see things in the darkness, um, my eyes do not work like that, like, <laughs> so, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for the final horror game of the week, and I am, I am not ready for that one, I'll tell you that much, <laughs> but, this has been Those Who Remain. If you're watching on YouTube, I will see you in the next episode. If you're watching on Twitch, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you all. Bye!